Hi everyone, welcome to the third video of VXLAN configuration with BGP and eVPN in Cisco Nexus switches. In the first video, we have configured an underlay network using OSPF process ID 10 between two Nexus switches. In the second video, we have configured a tenant called VRF1, then L3 VNI with VLAN 101, and then L2 VNI with VLAN 11. And then we have tested the connection between PCs in VLAN 11, like from PC 11.1 .1 to 11.3, we were able to reach. So I'll show that again. So I'm in 11.1 .1 now. I'm able to reach. So we'll verify the Nexus config. The command is show l2 route mac all. So I'm able to see I have learned a mac address through my next hope 200.1.1. That is my Nexus OS 2. So we'll verify the mac address of 11.3. Show interface fa 0 slash 0. 722B and the Mac I learned is 722B through BGP. So my L2 is working. So L2 VNA I am able to communicate between PCs. Now I'll be creating one more VNA with VLAN 12. Then we will see how inter VXLAN configuration works. And from my previous video, uh, I haven't configured a BGP's VRF. Uh, we are a founder BGP, so I'll be configuring that. I have missed that configuration in Nexus OS 2. I'll show that. You can see under BGP, the, I have added the VRF, but in Nexus OS 2, I haven't added it. So I'll be adding that. And we need to even update our sequence file. I'll copy complete and paste it here as well. going to be 200 and this is going to be 100 yeah now it is there Now I'm going to create another L2 VNI that is going to be easy. We just need to copy the previous L2 VNI configuration and just change the values. So we should start copying from this section till here. I'll separate it. That is going to be VLAN. And uh, fabric forwarding any cast is already configured, so we don't need this. Here, we need to update all the value to 12. Interface VLAN 12, IP address is going to be 12.254, and in VTAP interface, it is 12,000. Yeah, this. L2 where it is going to be 12,000 VNI and VLAN access port is 12 and interface is going to be 4 we will verify it again 
yeah looks good we'll copy and paste it we'll paste it in nexus os 1 there is some delay from the device yeah paste it now we'll copy the same config to Nexus OS 2 as well. So first we'll copy it into the uh, sequence file. And in Nexus OS 2 the interface is going to be E1 slash 3. Everything else is same. Here. Okay, now we'll try re reaching pieces each other. Okay, I'll open twelve dot one. I'm able to reach through VXLAN, so we can verify that in the Nexus. Command us show L2 route Mac all. Yeah, one more Mac I have learned through BGP. That is Mac of 12.2. Okay, now I'll try reaching 11.1.1. It's not reachable. The reason is my gateway is not reachable. First we will try to ping to gateway. That is not reachable. Because I haven't given no shot on any of my VLAN interfaces. So I will do that. We have to even update in our sequence file. Interface we then eleven. And I shut down. Then interface VLAN one not one. One not one eleven and twelve. All these three VLANs we need to give no shut. This command is very important. I yeah, have pasted it here already. Yeah. Yeah, now uh, we'll give an shot on all the VLAN interfaces. Interface VLAN 11. VLAN 12. VLAN 101. No shot. So in Nexus 2 as well. Interface VLAN. 11 no shirt and if is VLAN 12 no shirt 
Office Lab one of one. No shit. Okay, now I'll try pinging to the gateway. Ping call dot one dot one dot two fifty four. It is reachable. Okay, now. Uh, Now I'll ping to 11.1.1 .1 from here. I'm able to reach. Now I'll access this PC. Ping to eleven dot one dot one dot one. It is reachable. So that means PC in VTAP two. We can call it as VTAP two. Next OS will call it as VTAP two is able to reach another VNI in VTAP one. So that means my VXLAN and inter VXLAN routing is working. So we'll verify. All the MAC addresses learned. Show L2 route. Sorry, it's not here. In the next switch, show L2 route MAC all. You can see we are learning the MAC addresses of um, machines in other end. So another command is yeah. Just land the MAC address. The Nexus OS one also land the MAC address of twelve dot two through BGP. Okay. The another command is show L two. to route topology here you can see all the 101 uh, layer 3 vni 11 and 12 are layer 2 vni so bgp evi we are just mentioned as L2 and this as L3 101 as L3 okay in the next video we'll be configuring another tenant VR of 02 there we'll assign in VLAN 1010 we'll assign same IP series as VLAN 11 and then we'll create one more l2 vni vlan 21 and we'll check the connectivity from vlan 110 to 21 and we'll see whether any conflict happens if we configure same ip in two tenants or vrfs okay hope this video was helpful thanks for watching if you have any suggestions or any clarifications you can put it in the comment box okay. see you in the next video